Body Mumba, like and subscribe to Janus on tour. Like and subscribe to Janus on tour. Like and subscribe to Janus on tour. Hi hey guys, welcome back to the episode of Janus on Tour. It is the 29th of August, 2023, and it is League Cup Round 2 action. Plymouth Argyle versus Crystal Palace. First Premier League team we've played at Home Park for quite some time, so it should be an interesting game. So looking at the team lineup tonight, we've made quite a lot of changes um, in terms of Burton, and weighing up front etc so we've um, sort of stuck to changing the team like we did against Leighton Orient which was always probably likely to happen today Crystal Palace as well have made seven changes themselves so it shows that you know this probably isn't their number one priority this year obviously them in the Premier League is uh, their big priority so similar to us so changes made there so it should make for an interesting game um, obviously Crystal Palace had a 1-1 draw at Brentford the other day we're coming off the back of a defeat to Birmingham City, which obviously was a pretty dour blow to us with Stansfield scoring, etc. So it wasn't the best result. So tonight could be an opportunity to get back on track and hopefully get some confidence back. But to be honest, if we're talking about results and winning games, I would rather we win against Blackburn on Saturday. But should be a good test for us tonight against a good Premier League outfit in Crystal Palace. So it's going to be tough. So I'm probably going to go for a 2-0 loss tonight. I think it is going to be tough. But as long as the lads get some good minutes in there and, you know, do their best, you never know. We could always take it to penalty shootout. So, guys, I'm going to go up there now up in the grandstand today. A little bit of a different view. Um, hopefully get some good action and we'll see you at half time. Come the greens. <laughs>
Well guys, it's half time. Plymouth Logar won the Crystal Palace nil, and what an amazing half of football so far. We've been absolutely brilliant. First 10 minutes, I thought, oh, we're in for a long night here because Palace had all of the ball. They're playing some good stuff. You could see that they were Premier League players, you know, the physicality, but we've been at them. Um, Tariq Wright has been absolutely immense. Kessler Hayden as well, and, um, and a great goal for Wayne to score as well. Uh, nice tap in, really good for him. You can see it meant a lot to him in the celebration. So, really, really strong from us. We've not even got our first team out either, so really, really promising. I think it's going to be a you know, tough second half. I think Palace are going to probably bring on a couple of players, maybe Jordan Ayew, um, etc. But we just need to keep playing the way we are, and hopefully, we can pull up a shot tonight and see this through. We are really unlucky, really, not to be you know, at least 2 0 up potentially. So, really, really good. Probably the best we've played all season, um, I would say. So yeah, let's hope we can keep it up and um, get into the third round. Come on the green. Showed at the end with their substitutions. We move on to Saturday now for a really big game against Blackburn. Good effort from the lads, but Premier League quality shone through in the end.
Hello guys, we're back in the car after a very entertaining game. Plymouth Argyle 2, Crystal Palace 4. Yeah, it's a game of two halves, Rich, wasn't it? Uh, a game of about half an hour different, I reckon. Yeah. I mean, first half, we I thought we were excellent. You know, we didn't even have our first team out. And, um, you know, we took the lead, you know, after 10 minutes of Palace pressure. And then after that, I thought we were looking really good. And to go, um, you know, tune it up right at the start of the second half, Condal goal, it was looking really good at that point. But... Obviously, the big turning point in the game was when they brought on Schlupp, Ayu, and um, okay. Eze as well. All all big Premier League players, and that made the difference in the end, didn't it? Massive difference. And Eze, wow, what a bear. You didn't see why Ditra yeah. Ballet waiting so highly yeah. for. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't see Ballet holding up about 50 million pounds for Eze or more. Yeah, yeah, they're quality players, and at the end of the day, it's very hard to compete with that sort of thing. But I think tonight will be a good learning curve for us. Um, you know, you want to play against these type of teams, don't you? Um, they'll learn from it. It's a shame we gave away so many goals in, you know, in so many, you know, in about four minutes, four minute, uh... three goals in four minutes. It was a bit disappointing. Um, you'd like to think we could have held on, but at the end of the day, it was always going to be a tough ask. And, you know, I think we we didn't embarrass ourselves at all. No, I thought we, for 55 minutes, we were, we looked like the Bermethic team. We literally Times. bend yeah. them and die. We did, yeah. So, but as soon as Nat Itty done on that, you saw what, a Bermethic Dollarty yeah. team and Ballet Dot Summit Dollarty in there. They, stuck, they just controlled the game then, didn't they? Oh, uh, yeah, and Medetti, wow, they got a lot of power behind it. Always yeah. shot at a lot of power behind every effort. That's it. Premier League players are more powerful, they're, you know, faster, etc. So, you know, it is what it is. Sean, what are you thinking? Disappointing. Yeah, but. I could see it happening. Yeah. It was always going to be tough, wasn't it? Yeah, always. Yeah. Sharon, yeah. they did themselves proud at times. They did do us proud. Yeah. Right, yeah, I, those three players just made all the difference for them. They did. But, um, you know, our players are giving all their all. and. Uh, yeah, that's it. Very good. Results will come. Obviously now, big game Saturday, Chris uh, game. Blackburn. I'll take losing this one if it means we win on Saturday. Yeah, if we play like the way we play tonight, not the best I've seen a face this season. It is, yeah. We look more... All the night we were back to lead set. I saw a lot of last season that we were getting into yeah. that too. We saw if we'd have been at that level, but down deep at that level, we'd be fine. Yeah, with the main men back as well. And with the main men yeah. back, yeah. Confident for Saturday, Sean? Yeah, very confident. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, they had a good result at Watford Blackburn, but I think at home, we need to be trying to win this game. Big time. Get, get, get a comments back. Go into the international break and then uh sure we can get the lads back together ready for that big game at Preston so yeah. it's gonna be big. Best time. And one last thing, well done to Ton Azar on tipped into the Northern Ireland international team. That's it, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Well, well done to him. So guys, thank you for tuning in today. Obviously not the result we wanted, but lots of action. We will learn from it. That's what we need to do in these type yeah. of games. We've got bigger games coming up in the league. And good luck to Palace in the Premier League as well. You know, pretty good talent. Very good. Yeah. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. We will see you in a few days' time for the uh, Blackburn Rovers game. Thank you for the support. 1,013 subscribers so far. Amazing. We were so uh, happy to hit that. Yeah. We will be doing the giveaway on um, Saturday as well. So, look out for that and you will see who the winner of the £10 gift voucher is. And we will come and give it to you on Saturday. Yeah. So that will be exciting. Definitely. So, goodbye from us. Goodbye, Mommy. Come on the green. Do you know me? Do you know me? Do you know me? Do you know me?